There we go. <laughs> so this is bearing in mind that I know faux painting is over, but I'm in a basement suite, I have almost no windows, and I wished I had a great big huge window with a tree in the yard, and I don't, so I painted one. So this is my door, which is having a hard time showing on the camera this way but I painted a tree on my front door and then I painted on this door this is my moon so I also very much miss seeing the sky so in this little square tiny apartment that I find myself in after all the real estate market has gone crazy so I didn't want to go nuts living in a little white box with no windows, so I painted it in a way to keep my eyes busy so that I would have stuff to look at and not get focused on the nothingness in here. So as you can see, we have our sky here, and then I painted a little stone tile ceiling and we had a snow when I was painting it so I pretended that uh, my roof caved in so you can see the sky shows through so I pretend I have sky in my apartment and I have a Beautiful picture from my neighbor from Paris. Conscient is about enlightenment. And leftover from New Year's Eve. All of the bubbles coming out of this gorgeous champagne magnum, which I got to enjoy with a friend. And my version of iconography is not the hand soap, it is David Bowie. And some metal pieces that my friend Kyle made me for the wall. And I only have one window, but as you can see, I put a few extra blinds in to give myself an illusion of having windows. And it also covers the electrical box, it doesn't have a cover on it. And my tiny little kitchen table. with my dog hiding under it and some of my sparkle art and I sculpted with this one so it doesn't show up as well he's 3D and from the Herzog exhibit at the bag I painted some trout leg leaves and took two of my favorite Herzog pictures. And this is my little kitchen area where I can sit at my kitchen table and stare at my windows at my moon. So my idea in here, I think from everything being so dark and this being my only window with bars on it, lovely, I thought I would just work to find the different ways that I could reflect light. So I'm kind of grateful to it because it got me into working with sparkles, which I love dearly, this bright light shining kind of raining pictures. This is some of my art I just started getting into the sparkles. I just can't really see it, but there's some on the moon there. 
What is that picture I did in pens? Metallic pens. And I love doing the sparkles and the movement. Of course, there's more movement that you see with videotape because of the light on it. But even if it doesn't normally have quite that much movement, it still always has movement. So it helps me not having uh, light in here. I'm not getting to see any sky. Here's one of my sparkle to the extreme horses. My blue horse, I just love him. And he helps to keep a cheery mood. And over top of my couch bed, I've tried to give some, it's a low ceiling, but I've tried to give some depth and give myself an illusion of sky. So I can lay in bed and look up. So I just wanted to give my eyes a lot of places to go when I was in here because I think we take windows for granted and the views that you get outside of them. And it can be very depressing in the basement. So, and as I had the moon on the other side of the room, on this side of the room, I have the sun on this door. Partially finished picture which I'm doing for my niece in my bird section. It's bird section right now until it goes to my niece. And I go back to being a horse section probably. And he's 3D and he's coming off pretty shiny in this picture. You can't really get a good look at him here. This is uh, my niece's bird, Dakar. She has a funny little parrot and she wanted me to do a picture of him. So he's about, this picture is about three quarters finished, so forgiveness to that. Some of it looks not done. This is the start of a sculpture my Pitbull Tristan, he's since deceased, and the light doesn't really give us a good look in there. And my little elf I sculpted. And in her little crystal garden. And hiding under the table. I have another little kitty cat. This one's cheaper to feed than my other one. And my teeny tiny little space. 
trying to keep it interesting. We all know the real estate situation in Vancouver. And yes, faux painting is over. But what could I do but indulge myself when I moved in here? I have absolutely no architecture to uh, respect. Only thinking about my own peace of mind and indulging myself. Get the ball bracey. That's getting a little fuzzy. You Chelsea? Yeah. Sorry. Done.